version. <laughs> okay, so let's get let's get real here for a minute. Yes, this is uh, Redneck's bathrobe is my tablecloth, but it was really wet out here. So, why I will not apologize to Drama Rehab. My name's Silent, and it's my brother Chris, my other brother Chris. <laughs> And this is girlfriend Hody over here saying I'm going to polyamorous relationship. It's called a polyamorous. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going off the cuff. But anyways, why you won't apologize? There's there's numerous reasons why I'm telling you not to apologize. I'm telling you, babe, not to apologize. There's numerous reasons why I'm telling you. Because I've seen part of that string. And I was appalled. Right. Well, number one... Um, it was an accusation. I accused these people because it was going around. You know, I don't know who these people it, are to judge whether they're credible or not. Further, was it actually hearsay because somebody told you that and you're repeating the hearsay you heard and you said you didn't know if it's true or not? Yeah, isn't all that conjecture? Yes, to me it would be conjecture. You're just asking because you heard. Right. Well, somebody came in my chat and said it and I was upset and I was like, look, if it, I said, I, I don't care if it's not in there, but if it fucking is get fucking rid of it yeah is what i said yeah. okay but they want to fucking play like you know to all their little people over there that are mad at me you know they're spinning it they're, they're spinning, spinning it. it and it's just stupid and it's like here's the thing you know you have people over there you have people on your panel that are doxing little children okay so why would i not think it would be in your discord when you have people like little angie up there you have people like uh Hani or Johnny or them, they, I don't know what pronoun she uses. That's another reason I'm telling you to apologize. They gang, they gang attacked you. They, they had more than one person coming after you. Well, the first night I played really civil with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I sat there and listened to her snarky shit. And the second night when they got Allison live up there, I mean, and, and you know what I'm saying? It's like they keep pitting my little arch nemesis because you know how Allison live likes to bandwagon jump because she's the biggest sellout fucking loser friend on the Internet. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's I'm, I'm, so, yeah, I was going to go in hot that night. The second night I'm going to go in hot. Knowing that, I, I would say, too, I've watched their streams before and and uh I remember one time there was somebody bringing up somebody on the panel and, they, and Chris and Jody stopped and was like, no, we don't bring up people that aren't on the panel. They can't defend themselves. We don't block people. But hey, I'm blocked and they brought me up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was brought up numerous times. My kids were brought up numerous yeah. times. And see, they said they don't allow that stuff. But there it is. Right? If you go channel their channel description, they say they don't allow that kind of stuff. Right. That's not what their channel was about. Well, I, I didn't know that. I know everybody has their level of what they'll tolerate on their panel as far yeah. as, like, you know, how they do their thing. I didn't never watch them. I've yeah. just now subbed them. I got so bored of watching them because there's, like, some other streams I watch where it's just the same thing over and over again. And it was just boring. Well. I mean, I thought I was watching golf. You know, golf? <laughs> <laughs> I like we golf. Um, the yeah. golf is fun in South Florida where they got the gators. <laughs> I, I think she's very confused on where the problem starts. You know, it started with, you know, um, Angie and Kickstand. You let them use your, your platform to, to keep furthering their agenda. And you're supposed to not be about that, right? You know, because you did use one of my video ideas that your friend sent you about Kirby Lokes. Yeah. So, you know, you, you were virtue signaling like you gave a shit about that type of stuff. I ask you about this whole thing about the Discord situation. Is that what, because you're an armchair psychologist, I need to know your advice. I'm sitting here my, laying back. So, is, are they virtue signaling over the Discord situation? Is that what that is called? Because he's, he's all up on this. I need an apology about the Discord. Because of his credible people and stuff and how it's so offensive to them. Not really. It's, it's like pretending like you're all about something that you really could give two fucks about. Yeah. You know, it's like, it, it just, I don't know. That's probably the wrong description for it too. But in my eyes, that's what I think it is. And I just well, feel like they're like a pit bull onto a bone. And it's like, it's nothing. And it's like, it wasn't even an accusation. It was just, you brought up and said, I heard. What was know? going down in my chat live? Yeah. You know, this wasn't something that I crafted behind the scenes to frame you guys. And I don't know what all this evidence and making me look stupid is. I got about a thousand messages and a thousand fucking different places of shit I don't care to go through. For what? 
Like to prove what? What is proved? What is exposed? How am I exposed? Make it make I, I sense. Actually, I actually have some old Discord I haven't used in forever in Discord chat room. If you told me I had something in that Discord, I would give you that link to that Discord and say, come in here yourself and show it to me. They dug up some old comment when I hated Bacon and talked some shit on him. I have, I have previously said, I expected him to talk some shit on me. We talk some shit on each other. Y'all talk some shit. Everybody talks some shit. We moved on. You gotta learn how to play chess. You know? I wonder about that chess set last night. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, you know, it, it, it's just ridiculous because the situation happened so long ago. But at the end of the day, we weren't doxing each other fucking either. Yeah. It was a whole different era. You know, kids weren't getting doxed. Now it's just like, we know that there's people over there that are doing it. Because, you know, it's the whole, if you have one bit of information and you give it to one person, you know... Here we are. And also, what, what they're doing is muddy in the waters with it. I mean, I consider it muddy in the waters. Well, we, we invented that play, you and I. Well, remember when we turned Raquel LeKemper's uh, um, felon as fuck story around? I mean, yeah, when she was all channel, upset and in her feelings? Yeah, I mean, we created the felon as fuck play. Go look it up. <laughs> look up pulling a bray and find out how you can get kicked the fuck out of hangouts on your own stream and look like a bitch, Briggs. Yeah. Because they pulled a Bray when they, <laughs> they learned that from Bray when they pulled that on Briggs. Remember Briggs, Briggs Corner? Yeah. You know, Hody should have fact checked me. What do you think? Yeah. You, you, you never she didn't stay in her lane lying. when she had her fucking people over there talking all kind of shit on me and my kids. But you notice how little Angie went from calling my kids fucking brats. You can find it on uh, Kickstand Stream to my little angels. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She's she's all on that. Those <laughs> precious babies. Yeah. Anyway. Everybody tries to change their narrative at some point when they when they feel the heat's on. Oh, she wanted to see it. <laughs> There's just certain things I see sometimes when people. Try well, to I don't want this video to be too long because we're not you're live. Good, you're good. But I'm gonna upload this. Okay, this is this is my apology, non-apology. I'm sorry, this not is my sorry. Chris, my other brother Chris. <laughs>